Give us a very brief summary of your results and um, is there anything specific that you want to highlight? Yes, I think overall um, a pleasing result. Uh, in, in I don't have to iterate to you the difficulty in, in the economic situation. I think still, still able to grow revenue. Um, and then of course uh, the results falling down in the income statement to a very pleasing EBITDA number. And headline earnings per share, um, double digits, 11.4%, which is, I think, will be will keep our shareholders happy. And um, what were some of the, the key drivers or influences in this period, and how does Afrox actually plan to adapt to these? Look, we've had a, um, a, a volume and price effect. Um, pricing mostly positive. Uh, in certain sectors, we've had a negative volume impact. For example, um, in the hard goods business, we've seen a decline in volume. Um, indicative of, of fabrication in South Africa. Um, we've, we've also had a bit of a decline in our African business uh, due to shortage of product and also subdued economic activity, especially in Namibia. But we've been successful in atmospheric gases, driving margins and driving pricing and volumes and also in LPG. So it's a bit of a mixed bag around pricing and volume. Um, but in the second half, we certainly see Africa coming back. And uh, despite the tough economic market in South Africa, Afrox saw quite a number of increases. How does Afrox plan to keep up this performance or what steps are in place? And do you foresee this growth to continue? Um, we don't give guidance uh, around the numbers. But what I, what I can tell you is that we've got a strategy of, of number one continuous driving of, of efficiencies and cost efficiency especially. Um, in a high inflationary environment, uh, it's, not, it's not possible to relax around costs and efficiencies. So that would be the number one objective, continue to drive costs and of course then service the customer as well as we can um, and, and recover our inflation. Uh, and then we've got some growth opportunities in the next six months which we will certainly capitalize on. Uh, there was um, a talk that Afrox is planning to actually invest again. Um, could yes. you give us a little bit more detail on that? We, we, we're ha really happy about, about this, uh, this uh, opportunity to invest north of 100, 130 million rand in, in our healthcare business. And this is really around the supply of, of medicinal gases to the, to the healthcare industry in South Africa. Afrox was successful in winning the national healthcare tender for all state hospitals. This would for five years. So we need now to install at, at the hospitals in the provinces that we've gained, the four that we've gained. We need to install delivery infrastructure, which would be around bulk tanks, cylinders, um, reticulation systems and safety systems. Uh, of course, this will generate handsome income and really, really good returns. Uh, this is a good business. Healthcare is growing across the Africa continent due to government policy of increasing healthcare availability to the people of the country. So we are certainly seeing um, continuous growth in demand for medicinal gases. And this is our sweet spot.